I think these are the final five races of the season. This is the Pegasus World Cup Invitational. That is next. And it's a one mile, one furlong group one on the dirt. And the top one is a claim for Craig Beckwith. Envious Joshua Sutherland. Memory reset for Craig Allen on a three timer. November rain for Craig Allen as well. San Diego Fury for Vinnie Gerard. Tajik Stan Paul Rhodes. Ultimately cool for Paul Rhodes. Veloso for Darren Thompson. Leon Van Rinsburg's got Animation Parade and Door to Door. Kes Kianto and Janella for Dan Hughes. Sure to Dream David Hooley. Thornton Quid. David Robertson. Tracy Chapman for Ryan Tamasebi. And Your Ladyship for. David Hooley, so 15 again then in this one on the dirt this time and away they go Neville break but animation parade probably just poking its head in front now pulling for its head over on the far side door to door but they're virtually still in a straight line as they race through the first furlong and now Veloso looks like it's coming through to challenge for the lead and Tajikstan's also got an interest in being up the front surprised to see San Diego Fury close up as well but it's Veloso who's got across to the rail and is in the lead so Veloso leads then from your ladyship in second in Tajikstan third November rain is after that one and then acclaimed is also close up as they race away from us and it's Veloso who's in the lead for Darren Thompson your ladyship is in second for David Hooley then comes Tajikstan for Paul Rhodes right over on the far side the grey November rain is is alongside acclaimed Keskianto Gianta is down on this near side as well with San Diego Fury memory reset is in the middle of the pack ultimately calls with that one alongside that one is envious then Tracy Chapman's getting a bit closer and Thornton quids towards the back and shorter dream is the back marker but they're coming down towards the final four then now and Veloso is still in the lead but memory reset now bursts out of the pack to take second your ladyship is third door to door is next acclaimed is running a bit wide on the track Thornton Quinn's going to give away a lot of ground but it's Veloso who's in the lead Veloso by a length to memory reset in second then comes your ladyship door to door is after that one ultimately called Tracy Chapman trying to run on but it's still Veloso in the lead Veloso for memory reset ultimately called in a big race in third but Veloso's in front there with a furlong and a half to go and Veloso's still a length and a quarter up on memory reset door to door third it's still Veloso in the lead Veloso with memory reset getting closer as they hit the furlong pole Veloso's in the lead Veloso, memory reset, they're beginning to wear him down on the outside, but memory reset is trying to close, Veloso trying to stick his neck out, but memory reset is the front, here comes door to door, but memory reset is pulling away, memory reset takes it door to door, November rain, animation parade, San Diego, Fury, Shores of Dream and Envious, and all the way back to Keskianto, Janela, and it's a win for memory reset, I think that's probably three or four on a trot, and it's a one three for Craig Allen, with Leon van Rinsburg sandwiched in between. It's memory reset for Craig Allen, the winner. Door to door, Leon van Rinsburg second. November rain for Craig Allen, third. Veloso for Darren Thompson, fourth. And short a dream for David Hooley, fifth. The interesting thing to note from that race, then, for anybody who's thinking about playing in this next season, is look at that. That's a, a top class flat race. And the winner's six, and all the other horses that were placed or finished in the money in the top five were all seven, which is probably a good three, two, three years older than most people tend to think that the flat horses need to be. So something to take a look at if you're considering playing next season.